Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Let's do the problem which is called rotate list. So you are given the head of a linked list. You have to rotate the list to write by k places. Let's try to take an example to understand this. Suppose this is a linked list that you have. So let's say k is equal to 1. What are you doing? You are rotating all the elements by 1 places, right? And then the last element will come here. So what will the linked list become? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the last element 7 will get connected. If k is equal to 2, what, what will the linked list become? Again you will shift all the elements by 1 places and then the last element again shifts. So what will the linked list become? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you have 6, 7 and then 7 will get connected to this. Okay. So if k is equal to 2, this is your answer. Now let's try to solve this problem considering this case. k is equal to 2, right? Let's try to solve this problem using this example. So what do you have to achieve? Let me write it again. So uh, we have the linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For k equal to 2, what do you have to do? For k equal to 2, you have to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Okay. So this block has to come here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 has to come here. Then you have to get this remaining block 6, 7 at the front. Once you got this block, you have to connect this block. Now you have to connect 7 to 1. Okay. So what are we doing? 7 is what? 7 is the last element. 7 is the last element. 7 is the last element. And 1 is what? 1 is the first element. So basically what are we doing? 1 is basically head, right? So 1 is head and 7 is, let me write, last, last node. Okay. Last element. So what are you doing? Once you make these blocks, right? 1 to 5 and then you have 6 to 7 after which you are connecting 7 and 1 so basically you are connecting the last element to the head okay so this is the first thing that we want to do first we have to get the last element then we have to get the head and we have to connect last element to head so let's go step by step okay so let's make this connection first of all what are we doing let me re repeat once again we we know k is equal to 2 that means two elements have to come at the front five elements have to come at the back and the last element which is 7 has to get connected to the head 7 should get connected to 1 so let's do one thing let's try to just do this step then we will see the further steps okay so let me start basically what you are going to do you are going to find out the last element how do you find out the last element finding out the last element is very simple right we will start with the temporary variable okay and then we will keep moving the temporary variable till till what so let's move our temp so temp is equal to temps next we will keep moving our temp, we will keep moving our temp till we reach this. When, how do we find the last element? So we know the last element when the next of temp is equal to null. That means we reached our last element. Okay, That is a simple line of code. Basically, if you have 7 elements, right? how many times you will change temp? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times if you jump, you will be able to reach the last element. Okay, So if you have 7 elements, 6 times you make the jump, you move temp is equal to Okay, simply how do you make the jump just give the simple line of code temp is equal to temps next okay this simple line of code you will give six times six times it will run so you will reach the last element how do you know is the last last element sevens next will be equal to null okay so let's write the code then it will be much more clearer we want to just reach the last element okay so let me write it so reach the last element why do you want to reach the last element because when we rotate by k places what is happening last element is getting connected to head so what is happening in our example 7 should get connected to 1 this is what we want so for that we need to find the last element we already have the head once we know the last element we can just connect 7 and 1 we can connect the last element with the head okay that's what we want to do so how do we reach the last element so very simple just iterate the iterate the linked list okay so reaching the last element is very simple just iterate the linked list let me give a variable temp temp is equal to head so while temps next is still valid what we will do we will do temp is equal to temps next okay if you if you simply give while temp then what will happen this will keep running unless temp becomes equal to null but we don't want that we want to make temp equal to the last element okay so that's why i'm giving this condition so what will happen temp will become equal to what temp will become equal to 7 and this will exit the loop when temp is equal to 7 because seven's next is null right so it will not enter this loop when when it sees that the next of 7 is null okay so temp will point towards the node which is having a value of 7 okay now what you want to do you have got your temp which is the last element now connect this okay connect this and make its next equal to head so what are we doing we are connecting 7 to 1 which is what we wanted right which is what we wanted we wanted to connect 7 to 1 so i have connected by giving this line okay now while we are doing this what we can do we can also see how many times we are jumping how many times are we jumping we are jumping six times right so why is this useful 
let's see why is that useful okay so we know we are jumping six times so n is equal to zero and if we jump six times we'll reach the last element now how will we use this n okay let's see now what do we have to do next what have we done till now let me write it again so till now what have we done we have a linked list one two three four five six seven so what we did now we reached the last element we know that last element was pointing towards null so we broke this connection and we made the last element point towards one so currently we have achieved this but what do we want to actually achieve if we want to rotate by two places what do we want to do we want to achieve one two three four five to get connected and we want six seven to get connected they are already actually connected we have made this connection seven is connected to one okay this part is achieved now we also want to achieve the next part what is the next part next part is we want we want phi to point to null okay second step is now we want phi to be the end of the linked list currently 7 was the end of the linked list but we connected 7 to 1 okay first part we have done but the next part is we want to get phi attached to null okay because the linked list should end after phi okay this is what we want so how will we achieve this see so we want to reach the node which node do we want to reach we want to reach the node phi because we want to reach this and make its next equal to null because when we rotate by two places we re the last node should be equal to phi and its next should be null so how will we reach phi it's very simple see if k is equal to 2 right if k is equal to 2 if k is equal to 2 that means that means there are two nodes in the beginning and there are five nodes in the end okay if k is equal to 2 that means there are two nodes in the beginning there are five nodes in the end how will you get five nodes in the end so very simple you start again let's say you start a temp okay you start a temp you keep moving the temp you keep moving the temp how many times you will keep moving the temp if you keep moving the temp right if you keep moving the temp till you reach this value right till you reach phi so one two three four four times you should move the node temp you will be able to reach the node phi why do you want to reach the node phi phi is the ending node which should be connected to null we want to reach this node phi because we want to connect it to null okay currently it's connected to seven currently this is connected to uh, to six currently this connected to this block six seven we want to break this connection i think it's become very messy but uh, let me try to see this is the connection that we want to break we want to break this connection and we want to connect phi to null okay so what we are doing we are jumping temp one two three four times if we make temp jump by four times and we reach this temp here so we will reach the ending node phi so how are we going to achieve that so we know what is our n n is equal to six now what is k k is equal to two six minus two is equal to four that is the number of times you want the temp to jump okay so if you jump temp by four times you will reach the node phi which you which is the ending node okay so that's why so what we are doing n is equal to six right n is equal to six so what we will do we will do n minus k okay this is the number of times you want to make your node jump so let me write jump okay this is the number of times 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 in our example that means if you make temp if you make um, uh, okay this temp which is starting from the head if you make it jump four times what will happen you will reach the ending node which you want okay so let me give the condition while jump okay let me give the condition so um, currently uh, what is happening is let me give again let me give temp temp to point towards the head okay temp is starting from the head again so temp is equal to temp star next and jump minus minus so these many times if you jump where will temp point towards temp will point towards the node phi why do you want the node phi you want to make its next equal to null okay so temp's next should be equal to null okay very good now if you make temps ne next equal to null simply okay what will happen if you make the node phi if you make the node phi its next point towards null what will happen you will lose this you will lose this connection right so you will lose this connection you will lose this connection but we want this connection because this 6 7 this is the connection that we want if you simply make it null without saving this connection you will lose this connection 6 7 we want 6 7 because 6 is the head of the linked list that we want finally in the answer okay so before making this null before making this null what we will do we will also store this this is going to be our next head right so this is what we want to return so list node star okay 
uh, the head that you want to return so let me just call it return this head okay this is temps next because what is this five's next is what six right so you want to return six six is the head six is the head so before making five's next equal to null currently the next of five is equal to six right this this is the return head that i'm declaring return this head because we want to return this head so this head i will save in a variable called return head and what i will do i will just save it in a variable return head so this is pointing towards six then i will make temps next equal to null so when i do this what will happen when i do this what will happen this connection will break off this connection will break off and phi's next will point towards null okay i have already stored this okay that's it so i have achieved whatever i wanted to achieve okay now what i can do i can just give return return head okay that's it this is a simple code now it will not work for all the test cases first of all let's see if it's working for the given test case see it's working for this test case now for which test case will it not work just consider this example too right now in this case what are you doing you are rotating by four times but the length of the linked list is what length of the linked list is only three so if you are rotating by four times what are you doing it is same as rotating by one times right so what you have to do one simple thing you have to do k is equal to k mod n that is what you have to do because rotating by four times is same as rotating by one times okay when 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 your size of linked list is three okay so k is equal to k mod n will ensure that always uh, you your number of rotations never exceeds the size of the linked list okay now let's run the code and see if it's going to work so let's submit and see if it's working for all the test cases okay uh, the uh, i understand why uh, why it's not working because here n is what n is not the size of your linked list n is 6 right n is 6 but the size of the linked list is 7 so we should give k mod n plus 1 because uh, n is 6 but the size of the linked list is 7 so 6 plus 1 is 7 so the size of the linked list should be a uh, size of the linked list is n plus 1 but here we gave n n plus plus uh, n n became only 6 so this should be n plus 1 now i guess it should work let me sum it and see it should work for all that possible test cases okay so now it's not working for the empty test case why is it not working so we should uh, because uh, this is not valid right here uh, it's giving error so we can also give one base test case what is the test case if your head is null right so let me give the test case if your head is null or k is equal to 0 in that case you can return head because there no need to do any rotations if k is equal to 0 means no need to do any rotations if your head is null also that's it's pointless okay so it's working for all the test cases thank you